With Halo 3 Fighting on PC, I've been getting a lot of questions of how is the quality of the game? Are there a lot of bugs? Does it play well on mouse and keyboard? Well, in this video, we're going to experience it all in one. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving our gameplay commentary. Today we're going in live to some Halo 3 on PC greatness. We're going to be doing some BTB for you guys, maybe some Team Slayer as well, to kind of show you what it's like to play this game on PC. It's a long time coming. I'm super excited about this, so let's jump right into it. All right guys, so we're in for our first game of the day, and they actually do mean that first game of the day. We're playing on mouse and keyboard here in some Halo 3 on BTB. So this is the BTB day. You guys don't know the flight does kind of rotate around what kind of uh, game modes happen per day and somehow I lived through that which is fantastic that's kind of that benefit of also having projectile position weapons in this game where you can actually get through different sections of the map without being completely lasered from across the map which is super nice uh, so in this video I want to kind of go into a lot oh my god so in this video I generally wanted to go over the feel of the game what my experience has been, where can 343 improve on this PC experience, and where they actually excelled at. So let's jump right into it. But first off, I want to really congratulate 343 for doing a great job and actually working on the frame rate in this game. It's so much better than any of the previous releases. Right now, I can easily get like 100. 20 plus frames and it looks buttery smooth on PC compared to what it was doing say like for reach or h2a or in that one I'm like well I think I might as well just run a cap 60 FPS because the frames even though I'm getting plus 100 they're just so choppy and not fluid that you might as well just lock it at 60 and when you lock it at 60 it looks pretty good actually I'm currently locking my frames at 60 just because I'm recording right now at the moment but I can play just fine with 100 plus 120 even up to 200 frames that even beginning on some maps and modes and i would say in general the gameplay itself has been running very well oh my god i haven't had too many crazy issues with like blank melees or shots not registering or things of that nature it's all been pretty good from my experience for the most part and like like we say like shots are registering melees are counting and so Game, core gameplay wise, this game is feeling like a rather finished product. Of course, I was also saying that same thing during uh, H2A's flighting process, and uh, well, we all know how that launch turned out. Oh, we gotta get this guy. No! Right there, I feel like it was a little bit of that whole controller versus PC aspect. I mean, I might have missed some shots, yeah, but um, I feel like that could have been a little better if I was playing on controller, which we'll touch on later. I also say the maps and modes that we're playing for the flight are pretty much right up the alley of pretty much majority of Halo players, so no complaints there. It's been just an overall just really good, fun experience. I've been seeing so many people getting like those old classic feels and be like, man, I'm getting those old Halo 3 feels back in the day. I just want to keep grinding and keep playing, which is great to see. I would expect a really good population surge when it comes to Halo 3 since it essentially was the pinnacle of the franchise. I mean, everyone has their own personal oh my god this guy's a legend but everyone has their own preferences when it comes to playing their specific kind of halo some people like c some people like two three even five yeah some some insane people out there even like four i know even four and i think i've seen the population mainly on steam uh, alone hovering around 5,000 after the release of halo 2 on pc which is all right i mean that's enough people to find the modes and and how game modes you want to play Though, obviously, we would like to see that a bit higher, so then you find more matches, like especially like for competitive ma modes, like ranked and everything, like, it's actually really hard to find ranked modes in the MCC right now. But that's kind of understandable, since, you know, these games are so old, that people are just going to hop in, maybe play for the campaign or something, and hey, we got the win! But to kind of finalize my thoughts on that one, that most people, I feel like, are kind of casually hop on, play the game for a little bit, be like, oh yes, I remember how great this game was, it was a lot of fun, play the campaign, and may go off to play like the games that they're currently playing right now since these aren't exactly the most relevant games at the moment. Oh, last resort. Here we go. Can I get that sniper rifle to start out? That'd be fantastic. Did they spawn out here on the beach? No, okay. Oh, there he definitely also spawn here. Uh, yikes. Oh, can we get this guy? <gasps> Peek your head, boy. You're so close to dying. Got him! So yeah, I can understand this game being a much more casual experience for most people playing this game. I don't think a lot of people have it in mind that they're going to try to grind out, you know, XP and stuff like that for this game unless you're like a die-hard Halo fan, which at that point you're playing this game anyways, right? Especially since it's not the most relevant game. 
that I think people are going to try to min-max their gameplay and try to, you know, grind it down in ranks. I think most people are just going to play social, hop on for some fun games, and then call it a day kind of thing. Which is understandable. Of course, in Halo 3 ranked might actually get some good amount of gameplay since it was the most popular ranked mode in the MCC for when it was just on console. Halo 3 has always been the most popular game on the MCC since the very beginning. And so I can imagine a good population surge when this game releases to the what extent. I mean, it's that's up in the air, really. But it definitely will be a nice boost for how sustainable, though. We don't know until... Uh, well, you know, a month after the game releases or something. This guy is a ninja. Now, another thing I also do want to touch on, it's obviously a really hot topic within the community. I touched on it in a previous video as well, saying mouse and keyboard sucks in Halo, which honestly, guys, it kind of does. It still kind of does in this game. Uh, like you saw like in the, earlier in the game, those shots, I was like, mm, I feel questionable missing those shots. Yeah, it was the, uh, those, <laughs> those shots where I'm like, yeah, I feel like I probably would hit that if I was on controller. Uh, that medium to close range gunfight locations you would come across, guys, it's so really dominated in the uh, controller space for that. Though, with the slower fire rate, it certainly does help. No, I want the snake! <laughs> no! <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, the, the, the nicest person in the world. The night we gotta type it in the chat. You're. The best. Oh no, I do! Oh, and now I got saved! No! I'm gonna. Oh no, I'm too busy thanking him and I died! Dude, rare generosity amongst Halo players. Really appreciate that. Of course, and I squandered the opportunity. And he goes back and picks it up, though, so. I guess, you know. Let the real man play with the big guns. But yeah, talking back on topic with the mouse and keyboard situation, uh, like the close to mid range, like precision battles. I'm, I'm sorry, but I think. Uh, Controller's still gonna win those just because of that aim assist Movement speed bullet magnetism everything that takes into consideration. I brought like I said I brought this up in a previous video talking about it and how like You know also, also since like you're gonna be using the same kind of aiming mechanics as you would with controller as your movements are going to be your macro aim like general aiming of your target and your micro movements which would generally be left to your right stick on, con on controller are going to be with your mouse in this game. So even though, so you're still using the same like aiming techniques. And at that point, I'm like, well, why not get the benefit of having aim assist involved with that as well? In that previous gunfight, I told, I brought up to you guys, I was talking about. And I was like, yeah, I feel like that one I probably would have had if I was on controller. Now, it could be a little bit less experience on the uh, mouse and keyboard, which is true. You know, I spoke a lot of time playing Halo on console since that was the only platform it was all available on for so long. So I have sunk hundreds of hours into F, you know, PC shooters as well, I like Call of Duty, Battlefield, Destiny, many other games, and I have to say, mouse and keyboard on Halo, it just doesn't feel as good as it should. I can't, I don't know if it can compete against these uh, controller warriors, man. Like, like you could do all right, like especially in social and in BTP, you probably would be doing just fine. But if you're playing for ranked. If you're playing to you know, optimize your gameplay to do the best you possibly can, controller is gonna be the way you're gonna have to go. I'm sorry, that's just kind of what the truth is right now. And I wouldn't expect much change to happen with that, as these are legacy Halo tiles, and it would involve a lot of work going into uh, changing the game to a core, down to its core aspects. And with Halo Infinite coming around the corner, I can imagine this game being much more relevant past November and when that game releases. And so. I can pretty much assume in the way it's going to be that these legacy titles, which are designed from the ground up that you've played on controller, that controller will probably be the best input device to use. Not saying you can't do well on keyboard and mouse, you certainly can. I'd say shooting is like 10% of what makes you a good Halo player. Though, you do have to take into consideration that the aim assist and how the game is fundamentally designed, controller is going to be the way to go. All right, guys, so then we hopped into a little ranked Team Slayer 44 action for you guys in this game right here. I did plug in my controller this time as I do feel the controller assistance certainly is the strongest in these 44 modes. So I jump in with that. Uh, it could be just that I feel better with the controller. Maybe Halo does play better on controller. Either way, something 
is up when it comes to PC controls and uh, controller I feel like is kind of the way to go with this game. So I know one thing I keep getting asked in every one of my streams are the bugs. Are there bugs in this? How broken is this game? And I did make a video just mentioning all the known issues with this game at the moment. And most of them are honestly kind of secondary bugs that I would feel are not too game breaking that would block you from wanting to play this game on PC. From my experience, it's been playing rather well, which is great. Uh, the frame rate is super smooth. Being able to play in like 60 plus frames is a godsend. <laughs> it's so good. I did see that there was a bug where on Soundtrap that uh, uh, Mongoose would spawn at the top of the map and would just splat down to the ground. Just weird stuff like that, which I think I th we've seen previous stuff like that in other flies and that got ironed out pretty easily. And so I wouldn't expect that to be making its way through the final build. And same thing with the elephant on sand trap. I saw that uh, it was currently having some issues with like clipping into the ground, acting kind of funky. Uh, but uh, hopefully that gets straight fixed up as well. But like the hit registration, uh, the frame rate, the gameplay, everything between like the core aspect of what makes this game work, playing rather well. I tell you guys, it's playing rather well from my experience. If Halo 3 shipped this like this, I wouldn't be too upset. Yeah, you know, I would say like there were certainly things I would like to see fixed, but for the most part, it's playing pretty dang well. Oh my god, please come around this corner, buddy. You know you want to. There you are. And don't forget, we're also gaining Forge with this update when Halo 3 comes to the MCC on PC, which is going to be an absolutely huge addition. But not only is it just Halo 3 Forge, it's like the new and improved updated Forge that, they were, that 343 was talking about that they wanted to do with the uh, Forge update. They want to just bring in Forge when throughout the series, you know, they've been getting you know incremental upgrades, much, making it much easier to forge and merge objects and things like that. I made, brought this up in a previous video as well, just kind of showcasing all the new features with Forge in my one of my recent videos. Forging in, in Halo 3 has never been easier playing this on PC. I'm really excited to see what people are going to be able to put together in this. Hopefully the uh, file sharing and uh, hopefully the community, bra community content browser comes sooner rather than later. So then we got to share our content a little bit more with all of our friends. But yeah, from my general experience, guys, this has been great. I can't wait for this game to finally release. I know a lot of people are also super excited about this and really have been enjoying the flight process of Halo 3 on PC. And if you guys have had a chance to play it, make sure to leave it in the comment section down below. I want to know if you guys have been playing and what has your experience been? If you haven't had a chance to jump in the flight and play, don't worry. Because normally 343 will send out second wave of invites to hopefully get your chance to jump in and play some Halo on PC. So keep an eye on your Halo Waypoint messages. That's where you'll find the awesome little Christmas present lying under the tree of Halo PC greatness for all of us to enjoy. Can I do any work with a sword and camo? This map is a little tricky because it's basically like Warlock built into Halo 3, which can be a bit nutty for sure. This guy jump out. This guy get the slice. He gets the dice. I remember this map being in the original Halo 3 Team Slayer map and being able to forge a map this well in Halo 3 is a serious accomplishment. So many funky little tricks you need to learn to be able to forge properly in this game. Oh God, we got rockets and two kills left. Can we make it count? Can we get an extra one? I just want to get like one more kill with a rocket just so like I feel better about myself. That's not happening, apparently. And we got the win. I only got eight kills, but hey, it counts as a W for me, and my rank will hopefully go up. Okay, I went eight, 11, and three, so I did have 11 assists that game, so basically all my kills were stolen. So yeah, guys, that's the general experience I've been having while playing Halo 3 on PC. It has been a fantastic time. Uh, if you guys haven't had a chance to play it or you don't get invited, just keep an eye on those invites. If you haven't had a chance to play it at all, I'm assuming this game will probably be released in July sometime after the 4th. If you like these gameplay commentaries, want to see more like them, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know if you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your experience has been playing Halo 3 Flight. Or if you haven't had a chance to play any of the flights, you know, let me know. I want to see if I can help you out or give you some more knowledge on it. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you've been new to the channel. If you missed any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right now. I've got a link to all my news and information videos if you've been on the loop for the last few days or so. so thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.